So Maimonides says, wait a second. Or if he was killed. Who was a king that was killed that was called Messiah? Well, you don't have to look that far. If you remember on Tisha B'av, among the lamentations, among the laments of Jeremiah, is his remembrance of King Yoshio, Josiah. Josiah was the great-grandson of Chizkia, and he is called by Jeremiah, the prophet of God, Mashiach Hashem, the anointed of the Lord. We said that in his shadow, in his protection, we will live among the Gentiles. Now, if Messiah is only one person, designated Messiah, no one else, so how is it that Jeremiah gives him the title of Mashiach Hashem, the anointed of the Lord? That's a proof that Messiah is a job description. It is not a specific person. What is the Mashiach Hashem? Who is the Mashiach Hashem, the anointed of the Lord? That's the king of the Davidic household. A melech mimalchus based David, a king from the house of David. And the king from the house of David has the obligation to try to become the Messiah because that's the role of King David. The role of King David was what the Messiah will have to do. He wasn't as successful as the Messiah. The Messiah will be more successful. But that's what every king from the house of David has as their responsibility. So anyone of those kings can become the Messiah. And that is the reason why Maimonides says those words. Don't think like Rabbi Hillel, that Chizkia flubbed it, and therefore he flubbed it. He can't can't get it back, and nobody else can. Don't think that way. If they flubbed it, there'll be somebody else. But it doesn't mean that Messiah can't be raised from the dead. Messiah could be raised from the dead. Why not Chizkia? Well, Chizkia flubbed it. So he can't do tshuva once he died. But someone else might. But his proof from uh, if he was killed has nothing to do with whether Messiah can be from the dead. It has to do with identifying to us that anybody, anyone from the house of David can become the Messiah. And if you have a better interpretation, Dr. Berger or whoever else is out there, you're welcome to do so. Argue with me. I'll be happy to discuss it with you. This is my interpretation. So the the person on the line said, but Rabbi, you're disagreeing with your Rebbe. Not disagreeing with my am, disagreeing with my Rebbe's statement, but not disagreeing with the Rebbe. My belief is that many of the things that the Rebbe said was in a manner of prayer. Uh, not the normal kind of prayer, prayer through the office of Torah, using Torah as a method of actualizing things, hoping to actualize things, but they remained unfulfilled. One of them was that Messiah should not be from the dead, Messiah should only be from the living, and thus preventing the tragedies. The Rebbe's stroke and subsequent uh, Ptira on Gimel Tamas, the hope was to avoid that and that there should be Messiah only from the living. That's my opinion. That said, those Lubavitches who believe that Messiah can be from the dead have, uh, have strong basis in the Talmud, Yerushalmi, as well as the Bavli, as I've discussed in previous videos.